Did they use you for puppies? Oh yeah. We've actually got to take Penelope to the vet. I don't know if she was bred for puppies. Good morning, I have just started the day with a couple of Chloe Ting workouts. I have been doing a few of her workouts now. I think this is like the fifth day that I've done it, not executive days, because um, I'm a new mum and I don't have time every single morning to exercise, but I have been doing quite a few. Um, I have, I've had a couple of days off and i've been enjoying them because i can just do them in my living room i definitely need to get a exercise mat because i'm just using the carpet um the boys are in bed still good morning mm -hmm. elliot had like his best night sleep ever i think he did nearly nine hours without waking up and uh, we put him down at like half eight last night and then he got up at five something like that mm -hmm. quarter five so yeah i just thought i would show you a quick um i'm nearly three months postpartum elliot's three months old on saturday um if you saw my two month postpartum update um i'll link that above if you're not but um this is three months so here is my quick three month postpartum update obviously i've got some like really supportive high-waisted leggings um but i think i'm starting to get a bit of definition back in my tummy muscles where i'm doing a bit more exercise now um if you saw my update basically um i hadn't really done much exercising but i am trying to do a little bit more at home now um if by the way if you um if you like gym shark leggings um, but you're always afraid of like your knickers showing through. Um, I would really recommend the Marks and Spencers seamless range. Oh, I've got a crying baby. What's the matter? Um, yes. Where was I? So yeah, if you um, because these are like really skin tight leggings. So I would definitely recommend the Marks and Spencers seamless underwear because it basically just doesn't like you don't get like a knicker line with them which is really good um because these are quite like tightly fit tightly fitting and if you're wondering what band i use i use the um like used to be the grace fit bnd band bands and um, i really like them um so yeah start today with a workout um after a very good night's sleep and i just thought i would do another day in the life of a family of three vlog today i've just had a quick shower elliot has decided that he's hungry again um, which is fine because i had a bit of an engorged boob anyway um so yeah i've just done two of the chloe ting workouts um i can't remember off the top of my head what ones i think one was like the love handle workout but i will um pop them up on the screen here to tell you which ones i did in case you're interested and yeah i find them pretty good um i am someone who has been exercising for like the last 10 years so i've got pretty good fitness levels anyway like so it's not like i'm a beginner doing her workouts after i've had a baby um i am used to exercising and yeah i, I think they're pretty good because um obviously at the moment i'm trying to adjust to um that transitional phase of like exercising again after i've had my baby um, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable going back to the gym yet and obviously like exercising at home is a lot quicker when you've got a young baby um, because obviously you haven't got because you've not got to travel and stuff like that and it's just you know once you're done you can quickly jump in the shower and then look after um, like I can look after my son um, so I think that I'm going to continue with trying to do some home workouts um, just until um i know what's going on with the gym like because the gym's now reopened in the uk 
but um, if you watch my channel you might already know that we've gone down to one car and um, when I'm at home all of us at work and I am going back to work next month um, and obviously I'm going to be um, focusing on getting back to work not worrying about going to the gym so if I can do like 20 25 minutes of exercising down in the living room um it's a lot more quicker and convenient for now i will go back to the gym definitely because i really enjoy the gym but i think probably for the rest of the year i may continue trying to just do a little bit of exercising at home and then um incorporating some like daily walks into our routine and stuff like that so yeah um i'm happy with my progress i've lost a lot of my baby weight from breastfeeding um so yeah i like the workouts they're quick they're short and snappy i do do a lot of um sort of variations for the ab workout because my my core muscles just really aren't what they once were and um because i've been exercising for so long i know a lot of variations to exercises um, especially like if they're like leg raises i just bend my knees because i've always had a bit of a lower back issue anyway um so yeah that is a good way to start the day um i'm gonna vlog today um oliver is got a busy week but he's got a quiet day i think and we've actually got to take penelope to the vets now i vlogged this day um a couple of months ago or definitely like maybe six weeks ago or so um we were supposed to be getting penny spayed um she is our rescue pug if you're new to my channel and with a rescue dog obviously you don't always know the full history but um she had a season in february but we weren't sure if she'd been done or not because she's got a scar on her tummy like a, a operation scar for something um which after her season we then assumed was a cesarean scar because pugs often have cesareans i don't think they let pugs like give birth naturally um because they're quite small dogs and stuff um i think that's why and there's a lot of risks with letting them give birth naturally um so we were like well it's got to be a cesarean scar and then the vets were like okay 12 weeks after she's had her season book her in then there was lockdown and they were only doing um emergency appointments and like that wasn't counted like spaying wasn't counted as an emergency so i think it ended up it was supposed to be beginning of may which is a bit of a good job that it wasn't it didn't happen because i had elliot right at the beginning of may and that i think um, yeah she was due to be spayed on the 5th of may and elliot arrived on the 8th and i went like my waters broke on the 7th so it probably wouldn't have been great if she was actually spayed when she was meant to be but then we took her in june about a month no yeah it's probably six weeks ago now we took her and they knocked her out um probably like one of the vet nurses knocked her out and then i think the vet went to look at her and because we don't know her past kind of like record um he was kind of like convinced that it was a space scar even though we were we were also convinced that she's had a season so he was like not wanting to operate on her because he didn't want to like damage her i think and um, it was a little bit tricky at the time because he because you can't go in and have like appointments with them you're not allowed to go into the vets it was all over the phone um elliot was going through his like colicky phase so he was crying and the vet is sri lankan so he's got quite a thick accent so trying to understand word for word what he was saying while the baby was crying i was a new mum um it was just a little bit like overwhelming at the time and i was like okay do not open her up don't cut her up if you think there's going to be a problem um he was like well there was two options have a 150 pound blood test to find out if she's been spayed or wait until she comes into season again so we decided to wait and on saturday we think that she has well she is in season again so that means she's not been spayed that her scar is probably a cesarean scar and now we've got to go through the whole rigmarole of trying to get her spayed again um so today we are dropping her off at the vets for him to like thoroughly double check 
this is a season and then 12 weeks later we can book her in for the spay operation so we've got hope that the vets aren't locked down again in 12 weeks well no it's not going to be 12 weeks it's going to be probably like 16 weeks because you've got to wait for it to finish and it lasts about four weeks last time um so yeah it's all a bit of a mishmash i'm um, sorry if you're not into dogs and stuff like that but i thought i would just explain why she's going to the vets she's going to be checked that she's in her season which pretty sure she is um so yeah it's a little bit having a rescue dog obviously you don't know their full history and um her scar is a little bit dodgy looking so i don't know if she was bred for puppies and then yeah i don't know but yeah that's what we're doing today we're taking her to the vets i've got a new house plant being delivered as well so yeah a bit of a varied day today so i thought i would vlog are you finished um oliver's just brought me up a coffee and yeah let's start the vlog Grace is putting um, a very nice uh, top on the boy. It's a romper. It's a romper, whatever a romper is. Um, yeah, we've got to take Penny to the vets today. Uh, looks like it's going to be good weather, especially towards the end of the week again. 33 degrees. Oh, oh too hot. God, what doing? Mummy can't dress him, apparently. waiting to go in the vets well you're going in mummy's not <laughs> got his eyes shut we've just got in from briefly dropping penny in at the vets and they confirmed what we already knew that she is in season so um yeah i think We've got to wait another three months now before she can be spayed again, which is a bit of a bummer because, yeah, we kind of already knew that she'd had a season. But better to be safe than sorry, I suppose. And at least our vet didn't just cut her open last time without knowing. So, yeah, she's sort of at the start of her season now. And I am going to feed Elliot again. Um, he had a little sleep in the car and then let's see if he goes down for another little nap in his big boy cot. Did they use you for puppies? We love you. Oh, poor girl. We love you. We wouldn't do any harm to you. It is just sort of like after lunchtime now. I've just washed all of our lunch bits up. Oliver has gone back out to work. My plant arrived a little while ago. it is another calathea um, i think it's called calathea dotty it has got like a proper name but it's kind of commonly known as calathea dotty and it's this lovely black with pink running like pink veins running through it um and i bought it from a company called leaf envy and it arrived really really quickly and really well packaged and it came with like a little care package card um but i basically um knew everything because i've got a couple of calatheas now I kind of do know what they like but it's quite a nice little care card which i might just keep in my plant box um so yeah i've got three calatheas now i'm actually thinking of putting the new one um in a different room in the house um i'm hoping to put it in my living room if it 
gets on okay there i'm going to keep it there um so i'm just going to monitor that so yes um still loving the house plants especially the calatheas i just think they're so pretty and unique and i saw this black one with the pink pattern on it and i was like i think i need that in my living room um so yeah elliot is fighting to sleep he had a little nap in the car when we took penny to the vets um but that's it so he's in his swing at, at the moment i'm gonna change his nappy and then i'm gonna walk around to my parents because it is their 36th wedding anniversary day so i'm gonna go wish them a happy anniversary and sit in the garden with them and just take elliot around in his pram so hopefully that might send him off to sleep but he looks like he's Mm -hmm. Hey, Maya. Oh, oh. That smells a happy face. No, not, I got my camera out. No, I'm not, not performing. Oh, your phone's ringing oh. now. Good. Lazy boy. Oh. Hello, Boo. I have just realised it's a couple of days later. I don't think I finished my vlog from the other day, so I thought I would just film a little clip for you to wrap today's day in the life style vlog up. Um, I've got no idea what the footage is going to be like. I know it was a little bit like me rambling on about the dog and stuff like that, but. Um, I just want to keep my channel as varied as possible really is our life at the moment so yeah I hope you enjoyed a little insight into our day I'm um, sorry if it was a bit boring but yeah thank you so much for watching I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you for some more videos soon bye